Good morning, boys and girls. Today, we are going to read about Diego's Buzzing Bee Adventure. Now, it's spring, and in the springtime, we see a lot of rain, and we see a lot of bees. And we those bees are very important. We need them to help pollinate. Hi, I am Diego. This is Baby Jaguar. Do you see dark clouds? You do? It looks like it will rain. Quick, we need to close the window. We can stay dry inside. I hear a buzzing sound. An animal is in trouble. What animal is it? Click the camera can help. Click the camera found a group of bees. The bees need to find a new home before the rain starts. Bees cannot fly in heavy rain. To the rescue. Do you see the big rock? Yeah, there it is. The bees are near the big rock. Do you see the bees? Yeah, there they are. The clouds are getting darker. We need to hurry. Do not worry, bees. We will help you find a new home. Bees live in a hive. Help us find a good place for a new hive. The bees say they need a big hole for their hive. We need to find a place with a big hole. Quick, the rain is almost here. This log has a big hole, but a snake lives here. The log will keep the snake dry. We have to keep looking for a hole for the bees. This rock wall has a big hole, but a spider lives here. The rock wall will keep the spider dry. We will have to keep looking for a hole for the bees. What about this tree? It has a big hole. We need to look inside the hole. The hole is empty. This tree is a great place for a hive. It has a big hole and no one else lives here. The bees can live here. The rain has started. We, needed to, we need to protect the bees from the rain. Rescue Pack can help us protect the bees. We, what can we use to protect the bees? We need a boat, a ski, an umbrella, a tube, or a shovel. Oh, yes, we can use an umbrella. Good job. We will hold the umbrella over the bees. Now we need to show the bees the way to the tree. Come on, bees, follow us. The bees are going inside the tree. The bees are safe. We help the bees find a new home. Now the bees are warm and dry. Now baby jaguar and I need to get warm and dry too. Thanks for helping. Okay, so they found a new hive. And I would like for you to help Miss Burns build a bee hive where we can get some honeycomb. Now look, I want to show you, this is honeycomb. This is real honeycomb. This come out of one of our hives at our house where we have bees. Now honeycomb, it can be used for a lot of things. You can eat it. You can make lip balm, lip gloss. Um, you can even make makeup, the eyeshadow. You can make hand creams. There are many uses for honeycomb. So... Today, we are going to make our own honeycomb. Now, this is going to be our tree. This is our hole. Okay, so 
the materials that we need if you want to have your parents get, make one with you. I got some honeycomb, some honeycomb cereal, some glue, and I used uh, cardboard and a piece of paper. So what we're going to do, we are going to glue this honeycomb on our paper. Okay. Some glue on the honeycomb and then I'm going to stick it on our paper. All right. <clears throat> Do another one. All right, stick it on here. All right, now I'm just going to glue these on, and then I want you to help Miss Burns count. Will you help me count how many honeycomb? You will? Oh, good. Get it on here. Miss Burns has been missing all of you. I hope that you are all safe and healthy. Okay. Got it all glued. All right. Now, can you see it? Yes. Okay, good. All right. Can you help me count? All right. Get ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's right. Good job. Thank you for listening to the story with me today and making this art project. I will see you later.